Yeah! Welcome back to another video. What is up you guys? My name is Mike Spiller. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that like button for me, please. We're trying to get to 200 subscribers. We're, we're, we're moving very quick, so yeah. Hmm. Well, you saw by the title, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to mix and master vocals on Mixcraft 8. Now, to do this, let me open my files. Dude, I have so many projects I'm working on, jeez. Look at this. <laughs> All of these are unfinished, by the way. So let me just say. <laughs> okay, let me go to Bros. This is, this is one of the tracks that I'm working on featuring the homie Delirium. Um, be sure to show him some love as well. I'll put the link in the description. Okay. All right, so here we have the project file for bros. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna listen to your vocals normally. So let me, let me just put the, let me put my main vocals here so you guys can hear how it sounds. So this is how it sounds after it's just recorded when it's raw, okay? Yeah, me and my bros Aiming rappers and we leave some bullet holes. I don't know if you guys can hear it, it sounds very muddy, it sounds very dead Like let me, if I play just the vocals alone Yeah, me and my bros Aiming rappers and we leave some bullet holes Making friends, I don't need more foes You see, it sounds, the pickup is not bad But there's a lot wrong with it, I don't know if you guys can tell Like I said, it's very muddy um, There's too much um, gain on the low frequencies That's why it sounds like a bit, like it's inside of a box So, let me take it back to my main vocal channel Now these are the effects that I would highly recommend anybody and you don't even have to be a good singer to sound good with these effects, you know. <laughs> I know I know it's cringe, you know, to put use too much effects on your voice. So I, I would not recommend like overflowing your voice with um with effects. It's always good to try to keep it as real as possible. Um but if you're not an extremely good vocalist such as myself, you'll you have to use what it, whatever advantage life gives you. Okay, so for starters I put in a multi-band compressor and then all I do is I don't change anything this is what it looks like by the way I don't change anything inside of here I simply click on here and then I click on the smooth preset okay next we have the Pultonic tube equalizer I put it on a clean high frequency boost and after that I just go in it let me just open it and then I put my warmth just a little bit up, you know, just to give it that warm feeling, if you know what I mean. Next, you gotta have some reverb. Dudes, reverb is so powerful. You guys have no idea. Reverb can contribute so much. Now, reverb is that sound um, where your vocals will sound like they're in a hole or like they have a... S it's not even like an echo, like it has a, a sort of um, ambience to it. Now, this th that's what reverb does. Now, my reverb... Um, I drop the volume down just a little bit to minus one and then over here on 1.7 you see that I, I, I leave it right there okay next we have the t-pain effect this effect does not come with mixcraft 8 um, you're gonna have to download it separately but it is completely free um, I would put the link in the description but I actually don't remember <laughs> where to download it you guys can just search into Google um, the T-Pain effect, how to download it. All right, and then once you have your T-Pain effect, you can simply choose the key that you sing in, and then you can choose whether or not you want it to be chromatic, major, minor, major, pentatonic. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> minor or pentatonic, yeah. I always leave mine on major. Some cases I'll put it on chromatic, but yeah. And then last but not least, okay, well, second last, we add the Equalizer Pro Mix, um, and I put my presets on Vocal 2, but this is where it all comes down to, if you know what I mean. This is my baby. This is the one preset that plays the biggest part in how my song sounds. As you can see, you can adjust everything, the low frequencies, the low mids, all the way to the mid-high and the highs. You can 
control exactly how strong you want them to be, how sharp they're gonna they want to be. Any anything that you want to do with your vocals is possible with this preset. So I highly recommend it. Okay, and then lastly but least, la last but not least, is my echo, my delay. Now I put my delay on 588 and the wet mix on 7. And then, this is what it sounds like. Beat Star 7 Hall. Bros, aiming rappers and we leave some bullet holes. Making friends, I don't need more foes. We so cold, it's too hot, you can't stop me and my bros. On the grind, but they never mind us. If you're looking, you know where to find us. We running, chasing lights, we go all night. Yeah! You guys hear them vocals main all right now let me add my backup vocals which is gonna make it sound a little bit better but back on back backup vocals um it's usually just in the background to give your main vocals you know some character and add some power to what you're saying um let's listen to this yeah me and my bros Aiming rappers and we leave some bullet holes Making friends, I don't need more foes We so cold, it's too hot, you can't stop Me and my bros On the grind, but they never mind us If you're looking, you know where to find us We running, chasing lights We go all night Me and my bros Right, so on my backup vocals, um, it's basically the exact same thing except for with the reverb, I dialed the volume down a lot so you can barely hear it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But you guys, again, play around. Every single person, every single artist has their own sound, so it's going to be up to you to find what works for you. But it's always good to take somebody's advice and, you know, to try their style out and then to just manipulate it in your own way that works for you now there's one more trick that i want to give you guys hey, like here when the chorus comes in i don't know if you guys can hear but the backup the second backup vocals are very deep listen to them me and my bros it's just me and my bros it's just me and my bros now i did this with mixcroft's built-in pitch changer now what you can do is you can simply double click under your recorded piece you go to audio and right here you can see your pitch now mine has dropped minus four below the decibels so let me show you let me mute it like that here you can make it this is how it normally sounds me and my bros it's just 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 me and my bros so yeah, that's how you can make your voice deeper and higher. You can even make it into a chipmunk if you want to take the pitch up and it's going to sound like this, but yeah. My bros, it's just me and my bros. It's just me and my bros. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't want you to, to act like 645 AR. Um, if you don't know who I'm referring to, it's this, it's this rapper that um. All his vocals are in the Mickey Mouse voice. It's like super high pitched. You can barely even hear what the man is saying. So <laughs> I would not recommend that. All right. So guys, those are just the basics. What I use to mix and master my vocals. Um, lastly, what you're going to do is you want to go to your master FX channel. And all you want to do is just add a classic master limiter. Now this you can adjust to your preference just make sure it does not clip what i mean by clip is if you play your song it's just me you see this bar right here as the frequencies come up you, you do not want these two red lights on the side to come on for instance you see when that red light comes on it means 
something in the mix is too loud and it's gonna you know ruin the quality it's gonna make it clip and scratchy so i put my master limiter on four and then right here at my cursor i will choose my sweet spot yeah me and my bros bros it's just me and my bros it's just me and my bros it's cool because you want to export your song as loud as possible but at the same time do not make it clip and keep your sound clean without scratches and yeah um overall <coughs> again effects and all these things play a big part yes but it's all gonna come down to when you record it um how you know how perfect that take is and how what type of microphone you're using most of the time with with these new um high definition microphones and all these new insane condenser microphones that people invented most of the time you don't even need like a lot of effects because they have built-in equalizers that master your vocals automatically so if you have one of these expensive ass microphones you might be making your work a lot easier but in my case we have just a normal c1 and that makes me makes my work a little bit harder but at the same time i enjoy it you know i love playing around with effects so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video uh, be sure to drop some questions in the comment section if you need help with anything at all. I'm here to give you advice and I'm here to help out wherever I can. If you're an upcoming artist and you want to be on the episode of Freestyle Fridays as well, you can hit me up and we can set that up as well. Alright guys, I love you guys so much. I want to remind you to please hit that subscribe button, smash that like button for the homie as well. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Peace.